The Rothschild banking dynasty, easily one of the wealthiest families in history, but also the single largest source of conspiracy theories. The vast and shrouded wealth of the Rothschilds has endured for generations and has unsurprisingly made it hard to tell what is fact and what is fiction. In this video, we're going back to the earliest days of this famous Jewish family to see how they managed to build one of the greatest fortunes in history. At a time of rampant anti-Semitism, our story begins in medieval Europe. By the 10th century, most of Europe was under the domain of Christianity. Political power was invariably tied to religion, which made being a non-Christian very unfavorable. Perhaps the biggest victims of these circumstances were the Jews. Having no home state of their own to fall back to, the Jews were scattered throughout Europe, and many of them settled in the Holy Roman Empire. This vast multi-ethnic state contained modern-day Germany. And like the rest of Europe, it too wasn't happy to harbor the Jews. In many cities, the Jews were forced to live in particular neighborhoods, in what we call now ghettos. In the city of Frankfurt, from 1462 onwards, it confined all the Jews in the city to a single narrow street outside the city walls. That street came to be known as the Judengasse, or the Jewish Alley, and it was made up of numerous tightly packed houses. Back then, the buildings weren't distinguished by numbers, but by signs. One building could be the house of the ship, for example. This is the house of the Golden Stone. The sign on one of those houses was a red shield, or Rathschild in German. And the family living in the house had gone by the same name since at least 1528. Like most Jewish families at the time, the Rathschilds were involved in finance. You see, in medieval Europe, Christianity forbade anyone from lending money with interest, leaving this otherwise profitable business into the hands of the Jews. Experience with money lending, and by extension anything relating to finance, was passed down generations, and the Rothschilds were no exception. They specialized in exchanging currencies and trading collectible coins, and the best one of them all was Meyer Rothschild. He took up the family business in 1763, and his extensive collection of coins attracted the wealthiest aristocrats in the Holy Roman Empire. Among them was Crown Prince Wilhelm of Hesse, 